everybody. Welcome to the niche. So you ju I uh, just showed a little clip of me making my homemade mask. Um, it uh, has a pocket that, which allows a filter of your uh, whatever is your selection. Um, I did not go out to buy anything. I am a miniaturist. I sew a little bit on the side. Definitely don't have the stash that I used to have, but everything that I used, it was in my stash. So I was able to make myself a homemade mask. Um, this will not keep me from getting the virus, but at this point, it is one more barrier that that virus has to get through to get to me. And I don't want to get sick. So... I'm going to wear my mask. I don't think it's too bad. This is my third one. I had some tech. <laughs> I had technical difficulties, but um, all in all, it went pretty quickly. And uh, how you doing? <laughs> Whoa, my grandkids left with mama yesterday. Uh, as much as I wanted them to stay in the protection of our isolation, I know that they wanted to be with Mama as much as Mama, you know, needed to be with them. So I am here alone doing my thing. My hubby is, you know, doing his thing and he'll be here soon and uh, we'll be doing our thing together. Um, but anyway, this is a homemade from scratch material and really it does not take much material to make one of these even without a filter and it was suggested by my friend whose uh, daughter-in-law works in the hospital um, that coffee filters would make a good filter I have not I just completed it so I have not done anything Anyway, um, this, is, this is something that I can do to fill my time, occupy myself, and uh, feel a little bit safer. I was able to, <laughs> I guess it was, they went quick. Uh, I, I've been checking for days, and they went super quick. But I did manage to grab a couple of packages of three of these. I had made my granddaughter one of the homemade masks. But I made it out of flannel at her request. Later I found, and I didn't have enough time to make her another. So she made off with these from Amazon. I was able to order myself, like I said, uh, six. But I'm going to be sending a couple of these out with my husband. He has ordered himself a, a bandana that is quite tight. So along with one of these and the bandana over the top of it, he is feeling like he might... Uh, but he doesn't have too much contact with the public anyway. So um, I don't feel uh, worried about him coming in and out of the house. Just nobody else is going to. Because remember, I'm self-isolating for my daughter who might need me at any given time for whatever reason. And she's isolating, so I know she's not getting sick. And I'm not going anywhere where I might get sick. So I'm going to take this stuff seriously, whether I, you know, the, the proof is out there in the world that there's something to take seriously, folks. So um, whether you're well and if you're sick and even if you're sick and you don't know if you have uh, the um, new flu uh, strain um, or the new virus strain or whatever is the politically correct way of saying it. That's the way I'm saying it to you guys. So while I self-isolate, and you know I've been self-isolated pretty much since October when I uh, had my groin injection and my world went to hell. So, um, but I have decided, like a lot of people who are on quarantine and self-isolation, that a schedule. So I'm going to start, I am going to change my schedule up. That is my goal today, is change up my schedule. I'm going to move all of my medications to my 
computer room where I have a straight up and down chair and I'm going to take my more go in there for the morning I go from a, a relaxed state a sleeping bed and I come in here and get on my laptop which is in a recliner so you know I'm doing my morning thing takes me about two hours and I'm chill and relaxed I shouldn't be if I'm sitting in my chair I'm not just chill and relax I can put on my makeup I can take my uh, medicine and my music is in there and so are my bands and often I find myself when I'm in there watching YouTube or whatever I'm doing that I get my bands and I'm working out that doesn't happen when I'm in my recliner so it's time to get out of that recliner a little bit more I'm gonna do my part I taught the kids the the hand washing uh, routine that I learned when I was uh, when I was trained for a CMA, uh, yeah, CMA and CNT, CMT, whatever, uh, certified nurses aide and med tech. Uh, that's what it was called uh, back in the day when I did it all. So um, I trained them in the hand washing techniques uh, for twenty seconds. I gave them mask and uh, you know. That's all I can do. And sent them with uh, Lysol spray. My husband set me up with the Lysol spray. So <laughs> I'm good to go. Uh, but I haven't been going anywhere. Um, I hope everyone is finding ways to keep themselves occupied. It's really hard to keep occupied. If you have kids, it's really difficult. I know here in my HOA, they are hiding teddy bears and different things in the window and I put some hearts in my window and I put a teddy bear in my window but when Mr. Man gets home we're gonna move our dinosaur out beside the front door and see if they can spot him the kids who are doing the scavenger hunts in the neighborhoods from the safety of their cars or just walking um, lots of people are doing walkings with their kids a lot of bike riding but you see clumps of you know families sticking together uh, families going to one side of the road or the other, nobody making contact, but yet everybody's out enjoying the gorgeous weather. I would get out, but yeah, not today. Maybe tomorrow. I think that's going to be part of the new routine. Do all the morning stuff over there and the dog stuff and everything. Then go take them a walk. Then get on the laptop and have myself a, a rest and a break. Uh, because, you know, I'm still recuperating from all of this and I'm still dealing with my hip. And uh, so we got to do what we can do and uh, try to have some kind of a routine so we're not uh, dr driving ourselves crazy. I don't get no visits from my daughter anymore because she just really has been sick with this uh, pregnancy that she is having. So, um, uh Oh, yeah. So I've set up my painting corner for uh, Acrylic April. I got my uh, apron is in my hoop, and I'm going to gesso the uh, big pocket that's in front of it. And I'm going, after it dries, then I'm going to paint uh, the first tutorial that I ever did from Art Sherpa to wear on my apron during Acrylic April. I'm so excited. I hope that I'll be able to keep up that I, my brain and uh, frustrations, you know, because sometimes I'm little, like a little stompy baby. I'm 55, but I still act like a little stompy baby. I want my way, and this is not perfect. Yeah! Throw it away. That's me. I admit it. That's the way it is. The kids are gone. I gained a little, maybe a pound and a half to three pounds. I don't know. You know, things fluctuate. But, uh, yeah, I definitely had a weight gain while they were here. It wasn't crazy. But now that they're gone, not only am I going to do that, but I'm also going to step up and exercise. I'm going to take my exercise out back. I did not go out in my backyard where I discovered today there's actual grass, not just weeds, grass. And that was really nice to ground my bare feet into the grass. So I thought I would take my bands outside and maybe do some do some of my arm exercises outside. I think that would be fun. I can't do some of them, but I can do most of them. And I can do some leg exercises. And uh, yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to try to do that. I'll get some sunshine, get some exercise, some fresh air. And... Who couldn't use that right now? 
Seasonal depression, it's a real thing. And if you stay in your house and you don't get that sunshine. So, anyway, I just want to pop on here. See how you doing. This is how I'm doing. I'm holding up. I'm holding up. I hope you guys are having great days. I hope that you're spending quality time with your families, loving them hard, keeping in contact with your family members that maybe you wouldn't keep in. Give them a call. Say, hey, man, I hope you're okay. Stay safe. Wash your hands. And wear a mask. I really, truly believe that more mask wearing needs to be uh, worn by everybody, well, sick alike, whatever your thing is. And then you wear them, you take them home, you wash them and or and get another one. But I, I truly believe that that would definitely help the uh, help, not stop. It's going to do its thing, guys. It's going to do its thing. But the faster we can take our footprint down, the better. So uh, I'm staying in the house. But should I need to go outside, I will be wearing my mask. So, peace out.